Before the video begins, I'd like to thank the people listed on the screen right now for supporting me on Patreon. Welcome to Let's Play Need for Speed Underground 2, Part 44. And, uh, we're in our Lincoln. Back in our Lincoln. I repainted it, just kind of a boring gray, just to have it look some, some kind of different color. And, um, what we're gonna do first, before we get to the actual SUV races, is, uh, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna fucking tune the shit out of it. By tune the shit, I mean upgrade the shit out of it. Hey, swap out stock parts with aftermarket hardware and I'm gonna do this the lazy way by just fucking buying all the things. Upgrade the brains of your ride by swapping out the that stock I haven't already bought. Hey, tighten your gear I have stage 2 everything on this. I think I did. Neat. Like how Rachel is just trying to explain things to me for the 50th time. I already know all this. Jeez. When you need it. Your rubber dictates control. Your rubber dictates control. Get the good stuff. Ha ha. Anyways, Remember, upgrade the brakes. The the weight reduction. Because big, large, so and finally turbo. turbo kit. And there we go. You know what? Just for shits and giggles, let's see how much power this th thing is producing. I am genuinely curious. To really push your car. So let's see. Your and jimmy the output before you hit the jimmy the so output. The you know what that's Throw supposed to mean. This big ass fucking thing. Look at that. 530 horsepower. 512 foot pound of torque. Big man. Got some big power. Nice. You're a cat. Alright, well, there we go. Let's take our 530 horsepower Lincoln and, uh... Let's go racing. In it. And shit. So... Ah. Uh, good start. 10 out of 10. Let's go over here. It's our first SUV race is located over here in Coal Harbor. Oh, oh, hey, I can go around here. Alright, cool. Didn't have to go all the way around, and then I missed it. Backing up, backing up, there we go. Alright, anyways, SUVs. Let's do this. Our little league wagon, apparently. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's totally safe, Talos. I don't know what you're talking about. Because it's, like, the nuclear, like, the, the freaking, uh, oh my god, the, the spider final. Holy shit. Okay, well, that guy got fucked. Anyways, yeah, the, um, the, the radiation gives us, like, at least 50 extra horsepower. So, you know. Why not race around a nuclear plant? This type of guy trying to pull away from me. Also moderately succeeding. Oh god. Big things don't like the bouncy bumps. Not not a fan of the bouncy bumps. That being said, I got around the bouncy bumps a lot better. Spider-Man here. Well, it seems there's no traffic here, so I don't have to worry about surprise traffic from my uh, inability to see. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Just freaking get spun into the corner. Oh, fuck you. you. Guys are putting up a fight. Fighting herd. Oh, God. The double team. It almost worked. 
boy. I say, I say, ball. You get back there. This goal is just a boneless Tahoe. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to mean. Ear itch. Don't mind me. Hello, everybody. Oh, I keep going over here since there's no traffic. God. Large vehicle cannot do tight turns. What's that? They mean they made a similar vehicle for due to two different markets? Whoa, no way. That has never been done before. Looks at, looks at Dodge Magnum. Oh fuck, no you're not. You're not gonna snipe me. Fuck you, Wesley. <laughs> Missed me with that gay shit. Alright, well we won the first SUV race. Hooray. Alright. Another 2000 bank. has an upscaled ever so slightly called IS300. That's more of a market difference because, you know, Altaza, Toyota, Lexus, IS300. They're same car, just, you know, branded differently. Anyways, we need to go to the core for our next race. Okay, finally crashed my way and failed to navigate my way to the next SUV race here in the core. So, oh, I guess it's going to be a highway race. Okay. Well, at least it's going to be an easy track. Well, for cars anyways. I don't know about SUVs. So. So, yeah. Here we go. For a fucking big SUV highway battle. It's everyone crashes everyone. And the camera clips through a wall. Doing weaving like that, dummy. This way. This way is the shorter way, therefore it's the quicker way. Fuck your upshifting. I don't need no fourth gear. Oh, someone crashed. I'm guessing into the barrels. Again, I don't need to do this. There's no traffic. The fuck am I doing? shit. Yeah, highway race, or the highway track, SUV, not nearly as easy to navigate as the it with a car. Have to say. Because that being said, still holding on to the lead. Barely, though. They're all beating and banging behind me. Whoa! Shit. Turn too soon. We're fine. No kiss on the wall. Big kiss on the wall. Momentum!
Rain, you're not helping. Do not bless these rains. I want them to go away. Yeah, so much for the navigator can't navigate a highway. Ha 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 ha. Ah, puns. Yeah, that's right. This isn't Africa, that's why I don't bless these rains. What gear? Oh, I've somehow built an even larger gap than the last lap. Okie dokie. I see the finish line on the map, which means time to nitrous. Almost 190 miles per hour in the navigator. Fastest Lincoln navigator you'll ever see. Ho 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 ho. 191.6. Top speed. Nice. I bet I could have reached this... reached 200 in this thing. I like how Chong and James all, both had top speed 176.6. Very good. Alright, well there's our second SUV race complete. That is pretty scary fast for a brick. Can over 300 Ks. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, well. Looks like we're just doing a race in each section of the map, so to uh, Beacon Hill for our next one. Okay, so. We are in Beacon Hill in the little garden-y area, I guess. Oh! Um. I was not expecting this from an SUV event. Alright, we're drifting. <laughs> We're drifting our big boxes, our people carriers. Alright, well, let's try this again. I failed to drift good enough in my fucking Lincoln Navigator. Yeah, fucking beat this arrow. Bet you can't drift in this, a fucking uh, SUV. Hello, King Boo. I wonder if anyone's ever, like, actually drifted a navigator in real life. Like, I know people have drifted some crazy shit in real life. Like, a fucking, like, wagon or... Didn't someone drift a hearse at one point? But what about a Lincoln Navigator? Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall! Fuck! People have drifted lorries. Oh, how? I mean, I can kind of see it without the trailer attached, and there, there is lorry racing. Oh, I, I can see that actually being possible. Also, that that first turn. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys can keep doing that. I'll take the points. Yeah, he came with perfect time, fucking SUV drifting. I'm like, oh yeah, this is only circuit and sprint races for the SUV events. <laughs> Just kidding. Next thing you know, the, the one up in Jackson Heights is going to be a street cross. Or something. This is happening. Yay, I won. Alright, it took three tries, but I got the win, finally. Well... Chalk that one up of the strangest things in this game. Because, uh, that was some silly shit. But there we go. That, that SUV drift event complete. Hi, Harry. So that leaves one more SUV event. Yeah, we'll get four in this stage as opposed to three in all the previous stages. So uh, let's head up to Jackson Heights for our final SUV event. Okay, oh hey, it's on the main road. Well, not quite on the main road, but still. Here it is, our final SUV race. What are we going to do here? Da da da. Oh, we're drifting again. Okay. <laughs> Welp. That, that first drift event was baby shit. Now we're into the real shit. This is, this is big daddy drifting right here. Alright, well... Here we go. 
this is going to be an adventure. And hopefully I'll become I'll be the winner of this adventure. Yeah, drifting around these hairpins is gonna be difficult because I'll probably get okay. Thanks for the points, bud. Appreciate it. Is up for some four-wheel drive drifting, but I already did that in the Evo. We got we gotta get our drift our kids to soccer class, alright? We must assert our dominance as the coolest parent on the block. And well, thank you for helping me straighten myself out. Right, so far, I'm actually doing pretty good compared to the others. This is still, like, just insanity. I love it. I completely forgot this was a thing in the game. Even after my uh, my uh, research playthrough. Soccer Mom by day, Street Racing Legend by night. Yeah. Alright, well I got a 20,000 point advantage after the first lap. Holy shit. That's pretty good. Yes, yeah, there we go. Mom, you're embarrassing me as she drifting. Just here. The deck. Honestly, I'm not surprised that there's somebody in uh the TXR seer. TXR, uh, universe, that's it. That's like a, you know, soccer mom by day, street racer by night. It's a hello reflector. Doing alright. We... We <laughs> Okay, I think I got this. Got a 40,000 point advantage now. And Skyo hitting the wall finally and skidding across the line. There we go. We have won. It's a big boy drift event. And we're going to get a fucked up camera. All right, cool. <laughs> Good camera. 10 out of 10. So, SUV drifting. It's more likely than you think. We also get to use this event for the thumbnail. Hey. Oh my god, the camera. Jesus Christ, the camera. Oh, damn it. That would have been like a perfect angle. The perfect angle, but no. Just had to risk it. Try to get a slightly better look. Then the camera changed, cause fuck me. We. Oui. <laughs> I can rewind, but the camera's angles won't be the same. Cause that's just... Good shot. It's just how this game is. Yeah, fuck it. That'll, that'll work. I suppose. That Rothfire. Doesn't that look nice? That looks nice. Alright, anyways. So. There's that. And I believe that is all the SUV events. By I believe, I mean that definitely is all the SUV events. Yep, those are all done. Alright, so. There we go. Hey, we're at 86% now. Cool. Didn't make any progress on the actual stage uh, progress because SUV events don't count towards stage progress. But, there we go. So, that was our uh, final ride in the Lincoln. We got to skid it around because memes. Because this game is crazy. I love it. How silly this game is. But, um. 
But uh, yeah, so that will conclude the segment. So next time we're going to get back in our Evo 8. And we're going to take on all the hidden events scattered around Bayview in this stage. So uh, stay tuned for that.